Even though I fell to the mighty demon of Sandivius, the tormentor, the possessor of the teddy bears, the Winterfall clan, the Winterfall tribe, the light had heard my prayer and revived me. Even though I blundered because my muscles have grown soft, chilling too much. And the shores of Strangleborn Vale, up at the Standalar Resort. Okay, guys. Let's. Hope my blade doesn't fail me again. Taste the blade of the Wind Seeker. Oh, yeah! If you wonder, that was Firion's battle shout. Let's do it again. Battle shout. Die, foul demon! Shall gather your essence. The power of the diamond flask. If you're making a warrior for a classic era, always pick the diamond flask at level 50. You will be missing out on the most powerful item in the game <laughs> if you don't. I don't know if you saw, but I was being healed for over 1k every 5 seconds while using it. Okay, so it's a 5 minute ride back to Timber Mahold. You know, I hate, I love PvPing here, but you know, getting ganked by a gang of rogues or something, jumping you and having to run back. It's like five minutes or something running. Now we're on an epic mount, perhaps since it's not five minutes then, but you know, I'm not a night elf with the wisp form as the ghosts. So it takes at least five minutes to run all the way up here. But PvPing while doing this is so much fun. Especially when you get jumped by cowards like Shanks and you kill them. And the next time they jump you again, but then they run away because they realize that it's futile to fight a human male fighter. Tyrion the Blonde, the Blade Master of the Brethren of the Blade. Tyrion rode on his mighty saber, Chandral, sipping on a cup of hot coffee. Ah. And Firion wandered, or he meditated on the irony of having killed 25,000 teddy bears before killing the demon <laughs> that, that, that is possessing the clan, making them hostile, <laughs> wondering if, 
he shouldn't have ki <laughs> killed the demon first before genociding the teddy bears. Tyrion is wondering if this isn't a conspiracy by the Timber Maw <laughs> teddy bears <laughs> to genocide the Winterfall teddy bears. <laughs> oh man, this is this is some. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> this is really evil of the Timber Mahal. They're like pretending we don't trust this human, so we're not gonna tell them about the possession of the High Chief of the Winterfell tribe. Let's force him to genocide them all, and then we can conquer Fellwood and Winter Spring. <laughs> man, the, the Timber Mahal guys are evil. They are evil, man. He know he knew he knew that they were demon possessed. Perhaps you know, he he seemed like some shaman, war shamanistic warlock or something. This one-eyed Gorgo, the one-eyed or whatever he's called. So yeah, he he doesn't seem like a very nice guy, man. <laughs> well played, well played. They became the dominant race, you know. Let's see. I always wanted to have this this trinket ever since I was a child. The root of all evil. Hmm. You knew it all along. Long. You have returned to us, Thurian. Does this mean that the demon has been slain? You... You saved us. Your defeat at the demon Sandivius has ensured safety of Team River Hold. I, I think Gorn's voice changed. Didn't it sound like... The defeat of Sandivius ensured safety Timberma of Timberma Hold for years to come. You're here, are, are truly a hero amongst our kind. Please accept this with our blessing. Though the healing process will be slow amongst the Furbox, and the conflict will still go on, you have given the Winterfall something they never had before this day. They have a chance at survival. Oh! Your deeds go beyond the tale of a simple hero, Tyrion. If you're a repres representative of your people, then your people are ones we would work to make peace with. Please take this offering to the Dwarven King that resides in a mountain of iron. I believe you call this city, uh, city Ironforge. In times past, it had tried to make contact with us on behalf of his alliance. It is now only fitting to acknowledge you as the key in your alliance's effort in brokering peace. Okay. This true civil brought item is a verbal symbol of peace. A sealed message is is attached to it. Okay, am I like becoming an um, an ambassador or something? Let's put that on. Defender of the timber mall. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Ironforge then. This is some really cool stuff, man. Classic era. This is still the best version at the moment of Vanilla WoW. Or of World of Warcraft overall. This is Vanilla WoW. I didn't record it, but I did the T.5 questline on my rogue. That was really fun as well. Going all over the world. A little bit tedious, but still really funny. You know, look, world, music. Yeah. So I'm, I'm both a teddy bear ambassador and I'm a teddy bear genocider. The pain of the teddy bears. It's 
So let's see what the King of Ironforge wants to say. I've heard so I I heard I've, I had heard that before that you get to go to Ironforge or something. So seems real really funny. A oh man, look at this. So Classic Era is not going anywhere, so if you're interested in playing Vanilla WoW, make a character there. Take it in your own pace, like do the leveling, don't stress. Just level, have a good time in Azeroth and you won't burn out. And you have year, years of fun at your hands, you know? I'm not going anywhere. I made this character, as I mentioned uh, last vid video, I think. I made it back in November 2023. The moment it, it's the end of May 2024. So, a little bit more than one and a half year. I haven't been playing constantly, but... Taking it in my own pace. Ranking twice, first to rank 12. Uh, Marshall. Then I dropped down to Sergeant, and then you know, they re revamped the PvP system a little bit, and then before Christmas, before I got Thunder Fury, I ranked up to rank 14. That was also quite fun. The ult it, it's like an Alteric Value meta, but I think that has been like the case for a very long time. It was much more fun, ranking before, but the population was so low that I could only do battlegrounds in evenings and uh, weekends, and then it was only Warshon Gulch, and then on Alteric Valley weekends you could play Alteric Valley. But doing pre-mades there with other rankers was so much fun. So I missed that, but we, in our guild with some of the other people that wanted to rank to rank 14, we, we did Alteric Valleys. And not, not going to the end and just doing quick games, we went actually PvPing and trying to... Being the, the defensive squad, you know, hindering the progress of the Horde. So... And the music here is so good. I've never really liked leveling in Dunmurrow, but you know, passing through here into Ironforge is always, always so epic. I remember like, the Gates of Ironforge was like my home in Burning Crusade. Like just jeweling mages and everyone that wanted a taste of my blade. I was like 12, 13 years old the time I would love them making like a Burning Crusade era server just one just like this it's not going anywhere and then people like me can play that as well and have a character there build it up paint it like a fine picture Tyrion arrived on his griffin the Great Forge and Iron Forge. Joined by his new Furlbog servant named Ulle. Hey you. Hello, Ulle. We have an audience with the king. See if my AI voice thing will work. How can the dwarves help you? Warrior. You're welcome in my domain. Iron Forge should always be considered a home to a hero such as yourself. Now what business do you have with me? What brings you to Iron Forge? Indeed. This is a most for Fortuitous turn of event. Were a lasting peace to be made with these creatures, this would certainly give us an advantage in the affairs of Kalimdor. 
one that the night elves cannot support on their own. Okay, I know I know that they're, that they're supposed to be Scottish, but it's like a Nor Norwegian or something. Okay. I will notify the other leaders of the alliance of this immediately, and further diplomats will be dispatched. As for you, Tyrion, you have shown courage in both diplomacy and in action. I thank you as does the whole of the alliance. Let it be known that Tyrion, Alliance warrior, has earned the undying respect of Ironforge and the Alliance as a whole. He has engaged in great diplomacy with the Timber Mahold and performed valiant actions for them on our behalf. He has gone above and beyond the call of duty. Three cheers for Tyrion, a true hero of the Alliance. And I didn't get a title or anything. So just a call out here. So, <laughs> cool. Sorry for my weird roleplay thing. I think I hope it wasn't too harsh on the ears. So yeah, I'm thinking I should grind these two to exalted as well at some time, at some point. Hey, you get 440 alliance reputation. That's quite nice. Really nice. So I guess that's... It's all from Furion. Just wanted to share this with you guys. Have a good one. May your blade never fail.